Last Thursday, I gave an update on the status of entries for the Name the Dragon title. And so far, Tom Trappigan is winning with the name Nicodemus. I also told you in last week's video that unless someone came up with something really incredible, I was pretty sure Tom Trappigan would win. Jessica from MIOK had a trump card up her sleeve with the name of Hagrid. And if there's anything you should know about me, it's that I'll choose a game of StarCraft with Luke over just about anything. I love a good road trip, and I knew Snape was loyal. I'm not mentioned in the books, but I'm actually the seventh Weasley son. Adopted, of course. In internet news, I am trying to understand Twitter, and I would love for each of you to explain it to me in bizarre and possibly philosophical ways. Additionally, if any goons think they can break down the complexities of Twitter in a two minute or less video, I would greatly appreciate it. Post that as a video response! My goodness, goons, so many of you are DBZ fans. I'm quite surprised over our influence over this demographic. Hmm, maybe we can use this to our advantage and create a huge army of people who can do this. <laughs> I never did find out what the pink arrows were all about. I did not want to go back because I felt kind of creepy doing so. But if you want me to go back, post it in the comments and I'll try to muster up the courage to go back. I was sort of in the moment at the time. And to answer your question, Roxanne, I only walked maybe four or five blocks. Talking about this whole discussion about what we should do with Pentavlog, I agree with Exile that we should just keep conversations going and that uh, we just we just do what's fun because that was the whole point of Pentavlog. That's why I messaged all of you guys and said, let's do this thing together. And, um, and I, I, I like where it's going. As far as challenges, I don't care what you do. I think we should challenge the crap out of each other. And if we choose to accept them, then awesome. If not, then we don't. And I, I don't think that's a big deal one way or the other. Um, I don't think we should feel hurt if that happens. But I, I do think that we should have fun and encourage everyone to participate. And, and I don't know about you guys, but I feel like we're developing this hardcore sort of inner group of the Goon family. Um, Malfoy is our king and Tom Trappigan and there's probably others, but those come to my mind first. And I, I just feel like we're this family that's sort of growing and gaining speed, and I want that to continue. Uh, Mama Despic, I was going to put this on my personal channel, but I decided that I don't have time to really do two videos today, because it's the sun is gone already, and it's getting gray, and I'd like to go outside before the day is over, because I've been inside all day long doing this. I've been cleaning. Yeah. My teacher wanted me to clean, so uh, don't believe that teachers can't teach you anything. But anyway, what I was getting at was that um, Mama Despic lives in Worcester, Massachusetts, and I used to live near there. And in or nearby Worcester, Massachusetts is a, uh, what I can only describe as an abandoned insane asylum, or that's what I was told. And I drove up there in the middle of the night with a bunch of friends just a few days before I left uh, Massachusetts. And I never went in because it was so terrifyingly scary in the middle of the night with no flashlights. So my challenge to you, or my request of you, my quest, your quest, should you choose to accept it, is to find that possibly haunted insane asylum and show me pictures of it and go to it. Anyway, Pentagoons, I love you all, and Roxanne, I will see you tomorrow. Pappen, Pappen? Pappen. That's Helen and Pappy combined. It's empty. <laughs> I'm a good liar. I make noises with my mouth.